this is 1 bromo 2 chloroethane so we can see from the top view this is planar molecule all atoms on the same plane we can also look at this molecule from the front view or side view all atoms on the same plane so now we are going to find out the symmetry elements operation for this molecule this molecule has two hydrogen atoms side by side so we try to find out the rotation axis so let's say if you want to rotate 180 degree we need to find out the c2 axis so if you put the c2 axis here through the carbon carbon bond so it means that this hydrogen rotate 180 degree will be here however this chlorine will replace the bromine atom here so we don't get the same configuration so we try yes we don't get the same configuration as before so no c2 exists here let's say we put the c2 exists through this carbon carbon and then we try to rotate we can see that this bromine atom will be here and this hydrogen atom will be here so we don't get the same configuration another point is we try to put the exist c2 exist through here if you look from the top view okay like this so it means that this bromine atom rotate 180 degree will be here through this c2 exist so again we don't get the same configuration so in conclusion this molecule has no c2 exist next we find the plane for reflection this molecule we try to put the plane through the carbon carbon bond here so we cut in the middle here so what we can see this bromine atom reflect through this plane will be here so that's why we don't get the same configuration as before and then we try to put the plane cutting through in the middle here so what we can see that this hydrogen atom reflect through this plane will be at the back and this bromine atom reflect through this plane will be front here so we don't get the same configuration however this is planar molecule so that's why this molecule has a plane can cut through the whole molecule so only one plane we will get the same configuration so we can draw like this one plane only for this molecule right the next we try to find the center of symmetry so we put the center in the middle here carbon carbon bond so we, what we can see this bromine inverse with this hydrogen atom through this center we don't get the same configuration and also the chlorine and this hydrogen inverse through this center again we don't get the same configuration so that's why no center of symmetry for this molecule so as what we can see this molecule has identity nc1 of course and the next is one plane because this molecule has no main axis so we just label the plane as a sigma so the point group for this molecule is low symmetry point group which is cs because only one plane 